because we have the Canelo fight against Kovalev yeah. next, uh, next when week, is yeah. it? November 2nd. Next week, right? Yeah, yeah. Saturday. And you guys have a, a, a UFC fight. Is that on still? or? Yes, that's on still. I'll be there, bro. They, they decide to do a fight on that same date? No, it, no but UFC always books a fight in New York on in November. Oh, okay. But that's so, that's this Saturday? You know, that's been happening a lot lately. UFC, yeah. Boxing's all been on the same night. Too. But it was in yeah. jeopardy, right? That fight. Yeah, Nate Diaz almost pulled out of the fight because he wanted to clear his name before. It... So what happened now? The fight's on. Yeah. Yeah, they cleared him. That he... was good publicity. It was mm -hmm. right. It got a little. Because I it came up on the ESPN app and I was like, oh shit, let me read into this. Mm -hmm. So, I'm intrigued. Four ways to to say the was, least. You know, literally a lot of guys been testing. They test them all the time, but. Yeah. He he didn't test positive for nothing, but then stuff came up and Nate Diaz mm. was like, I'm always clean. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not gonna fight until you say I'm clean. He said does he doesn't even eat meat or anything, right? Mm. Is that he what he said? He doesn't eat like from like regular grocery stores. Okay. He yeah. only goes from like whole food. So he he knows food. what he's eating. He yeah. knows what he's putting into his body. Well, like, <laughs> just to get context talking about Nate Diaz, right? Yeah, yeah Nate, Nate Diaz. Diaz. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, so he said that unless you guys clear my name and say I'm clean, I'm not gonna fight. And mm. like the next day they did. They so did. Uh -huh. did. Fight right. still on. Well, I'll be there, I'm flying out on Friday to go check that shit out. Dang, where's this That's fight dope. taking place? At Square Garden. Damn. Damn, the big apple. So he's fighting a street fighter, dude, right? Pretty much. I I actually know him. Remember we were talking about it. In the oh, Wolfpack yeah, podcast, yeah, I've actually seen some of his fights on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, uh, well, yeah, used to do, like, Kimbo slides, like, yeah, I was gonna say that, yeah, like, backyard, slides, backyard, backyard, yeah. backyard type of stuff. What's his, um, what's his record as a MMA fighter? Yeah, not he doesn't have like the crazy outstanding record because I thought it was his first his, fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, earlier in his career, he was like up and down, okay, but lately he's been killing it. Mm. His last fight was eight second knockout, punch, knee. Wow. Oh, you showed it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did not know that was him. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they made this fight. Because, like, East Coast get East Coast Gangster, West Coast Gangster. It's for the BMF title. Oh. Huh. So, who's, you, who's, who's East Coast? Lance Vaughn. Is he? From Florida. Hmm. What's, um, what's his nationality? Uh, he's, he's not Mexican, is he? Puerto Rican or oh, okay. Puerto I think he's going to get whooped, dude. Think so? I don't know. That's just me, an outsider looking in. When Nate Diaz, like, took More experience. Two years off, hmm. and then he, his last fight, he looked pretty good. He fought yeah. uh, Showtime Pettis. So he looked okay, but Matt Rawls has been fighting more. And, so it's like uh, it's like a guy in form versus a veteran, right? No, they're both vets. They've oh. both been around yeah. for a long time. Okay. So you're not catching the Canelo fight? On the zone. Show it on the big screen. Replay. <laughs> Unless they showed it on the big screen during the USC fight. You're gonna be in, inside the MSG watching yeah. the play. Okay. I mean, just pull up your phone. I, can't, yeah. I got the <laughs> I got the zone. <laughs> God, what's your password? <laughs> no, I got my own. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. What's your password? <laughs> what's your password? <laughs> For the view. Uh, <laughs> yes, but the Canelo. I don't know. I haven't heard like too much promotion going into it. Mm -hmm. Are they just assuming? Kovalev. Kovalev, who who was, he's what, 36 now? Yeah, around there, 36. He was the man in that division maybe, what, two, three years ago? Maybe. I mean, he was the man, man, like yeah. five years ago. He fought Andre Ward, lost twice to him. Yeah. First one was very controversial. We thought he probably pulled it off. Second one, he got knocked out, <clears throat> but he got hit with like five low blows or something. Yeah, a couple. And the referee just let it go and he, he couldn't get up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. I mean, when you get hit in the nuts, it's... But Canelo is like a big favorite though. Um, I would say a big favorite, but he's a favorite. He's going up two weight classes. Yeah, those are big. Yeah. He probably, probably walks around at like 220, huh? Yeah. He's like 6'1", six, six, six 220. Mm -hmm. And he fights at 175. Okay. Canelo like what five eight? Yeah. So well, it, it, that's the intriguing part. You know, Canelo should um have the speed advantage and all that stuff. But yeah, it, it should be pretty good, man. Yeah. I think we want to see is like how how Canelo takes a shot from a bigger guy. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, the other guys have good jab, good power. So we'll see if he can land something. But um. Yeah. yeah. And other than that, the undercard they have Ryan Garcia, right? Yeah. And. And Duno. Duno. Right. Yeah. But other than that, any other 
I mean, I'm sure there's other names, but I can't, like you said, it hasn't been Yeah, I haven't heard promoted. much from it, yeah. honestly. They're just banking uh, on Canelo's yeah, name. They're just, I think they're just assuming that Canelo is just going to bring in people. Yeah. You know, well, you, well, which probably will happen. But yeah. Where is it? Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Like, you already know, so I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Hola amigos, estoy con Francisco Gallo Estrada, quiero, man quiero mandar un saludo para mis amigos de Contra las Cuerdas, que se lo muchas ganas, un abrazo, muchas gracias. Shout out to Against the Rose, you know what mine is, let's box bitches, it's almost fight night.